Well, uh, hello everybody, how we doing? Welcome to another No Man's Sky video. It's been a little while, uh, a few days ago, No Man's Sky released an update called Desolation. Uh, checked out the past notes, I've watched some videos on YouTube, a uh, pretty awesome update. First thing I noticed when logging in, and that was in the patch notes, is the change to the lighting. Um, they've added, uh, it's more vibrant, it's more livelier, um, the ambient, uh, everything on it, it's just, it just looks a lot better. But, the main thing is, in this update, is uh, abandoned freighters. Freighters that we can discover and basically adds more lore. We gotta find out why is the freighter abandoned, or why is it dead, floating in space. So very cool. I'm glad No Man's Sky is choosing this way. Since No Man's Sky Beyond has dropped, they've done mostly cosmetics and those types of updates. What I'm looking for more is I'm an explorer. I'm looking for more story, more places to go. And I think they're going to start moving in that direction from everything that I have figured out. So anyways, there are a few different ways that you can get uh, or find a abandoned freighter. And one way is, uh, once a week, you can go see this guy over here. It just popped up on the bottom of the screen, but it just disappeared. I can't remember his name. But this guy will give you one free coordinate every week. So we'll go and check him out. One thing about No Man's Sky 2, this is about a 6 gigabyte update. Every time there is an update, pretty much all my mods quit working. So right now, this is uh, no mods whatsoever. I had to uninstall all of them because my game was crashing when I was logging in. But this guy right here, this is what I was talking about. Iteration Helios. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of the universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I do so miss it. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. If only I could once again sense the creatures we share our lives with. And right here, we want to ask him about derelict freighters. And like I said, once a week, he will give us some coordinates. Ah, you heard. Yes, I have acquired an emergency broadcast receiver from a distant iteration. It is yours, if you wish, to see the fate of those past. Alright, and that's what we need is the emergency broadcast receiver. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go out to space. Now, I've already played this. Um, my Shadow Play, my NVIDIA Shadow Play recording, um, it's... I'm finally dumping it and getting rid of it. I've been having some issues lately, and for some reason, it's only a No Man's Sky. It only records a black screen. So I purchased for like 20 bucks a software called Action. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm probably going to be end up getting the Elgato uh, Pro 4K60. It's like 400 bucks. So I'll probably be getting that here in the next week or two. But anyways, let's go ahead and give this new software a try. And man, I got a full. Oh, this is from the last time I went and I need to empty this crap out. All right, we're gonna go sell a bunch of stuff real quick. All right, I had to go clear out my inventory and sell off a bunch of stuff. Made a ton of money. And now we can continue with our mission. So we need to go to our exosuit, and we are using is the broadcast receiver. Whoops, I need to activate it. Looking for the broadcast channels. There she is. The derelict freighter. Alright, new mission lost in space. Land on the derelict freighter. Oh, we don't need to worry about those guys. So what I have read is all this all the derelict freighters that you get on are pretty much gonna look the same from the outside, but once you get inside, they're all procedurally generated. So each time you do this, it changes. The, not only does the scenery change, but also the story changes, which I think is really cool. And also we were out in deep space. It's pretty cold out here, so just gonna make sure we got everything nice and charged. 
Let's go investigating. As you can see, it is chilly. I think I can collect from those? Yes, I can. Ooh, I like the music. the teleport module. These are going to be our heating units. Some repair kits. All right, this is the Sea of Bybara. Severe incident, total lockdown, access denied. External access doors have been automatically sealed. Override seal, yes. Emergency gravity calibration. Proceed with caution. Looks like we got some goodies to salvage. Very spooky. Ammunition, come on, I want some money. Lava cores are pretty... Larval cores are worth some money. Oh, got some walkers. Looks like everything here. Let's move forward. Ooh, this is pretty big. This is the main cargo. Look at these guys. Can't scan them. Oh, it's abyssal horror. Aggressive. Their diet is bones. And it's got bioluminescent blood. Come on, I can't reach it. All right, main cargo. Let's see what we can find. There's going to be logs kind of strewn about. I'm surprised we haven't found one yet. Some goodies. Looks like nothing back there. Oh, there's a log. Data extracted from medical bay logs. Partial report follows. Data stamp one six three nine point three. Partner Gek. Uh, Ifjo, he's from engineering, presented with major hemorrhaging. Symptoms indicate parasite present. Disinfected immediately. Log shows five similar cases this voyage. So it looks like they had a parasite kind of spread through. All right, and we got some security uh, credentials. This is the petty officers. So 
So we will use this. Oh, here we go. Got another one. Ship AI login fragment 521.44 recovered. AI internal memory encrypted. Decrypting. Output follows. Probe report from ranking biologist Kunefi. Internal electromagnetism very high. Suggestibility very high. Diligence very high. Conclusion expunged. Interesting. What do we got here? Teleport module. Records terminal accessed. Searching. Security override history. Company charter details. Crew manifest accessible. Crew status as of last ship wide bioscan, which was five days ago. Commanding officer. We got duty officers. Biologist and petty officer. That's the petty officer. That's the guy's uh, credentials we got. Crew status report crew. There's a 33 professional and 88 conscripted. Supernumeraries. Uh, they got the secretary and the trader. We got the local official. Update bioscan. Scanning ship for biological traces. No detected biological trace matches crew records. Retrieving last known crew positions. Captain, lieutenant, was on three days ago. Hazard suit storage, airlock. So it looks like everyone was leaving pretty much or they have already have left. Interesting. All right, this document would be highly valuable to those concerned with the fate of the missing ship. All right, let's savage some more stuff. Scavenge. Already got that one. Looks like we're going through this door. What room is this? This is secondary cargo bay. Floating gloves. Got another door that way. Let's make sure we get everything here. Storm crystal, beautiful. I can definitely sell those for nanites. I'm so uh, far in the game. I only settle for S-rated, but we can sell those for nanites if I remember. All right, I think we found everything. here. This is uh, another main cargo bay.
God, that spooky music. <laughs> Alright, ship, ship AI, logging fragment 438.59 recovered. AI internal memory encrypted, decrypting. Output follows. Automated reporting for Drudge Ivan. This is uh, medical. Relative movement levels very high. Conscience boundary strength extremely low. Probe awareness exceptional. Conclusion continued existence permitted. back here. This looks like, like uh, is this the living area? Well, it used to be. Alright, before we go through there, let's go back and access this computer over here. I thought maybe that might just be a storage or something, but it looks like it's going to keep going. Alright, secure mainframe. Private mainframe access denied. Captain's DNA required to access personal log. Shipwide bio scans indicate several incident status. Override available. Indicate captain's fate to begin. We don't know. Input accepted. Log will record captain's fate as unknown, presumed dead. Duty officer may take command. Authenticate as duty officer to continue. Security credentials required. Yep, and that's the petty officer we got. Credentials accepted. Welcome, petty officer. Log will record you as temporary commander. Last significant entry from Captain IT follows. Data stamp 3066.2. Onshore leave. The whole crew went swimming in the acid sea of Hedarix. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. We have become so much more. We see with so many eyes, so many hearts. I always love the water. Data stamp 3070.0. Beyond the end of all things, there is glass. Even a child knows this. Mine did. They became a priest. They grew beloved to the Atlas, recruiting followers from Balerion to Lost Alaris. Time has taught me this. There is always a way. I will find them. Data stamp 3149.4. I dreamt of water. It is how it begins. It is how it always begins. Do you still believe in the light of the infinite? Do you still believe there is any saving you? There are 16 minutes till I die. 16 minutes. I will find my child. I will find peace. So the captain was in search of his babies. His, hers. Wow. All right, let's go back here. Back to the living area. All right, we already cleared uh, the creatures. Living slime. I heard that we can um, refine that into um, uh, nanites. Hypnotic eye, I'll take it. All right, we got another log. Monitoring and maintenance logs accessed. Event re record follows. Data stamp 2669.8. Lock bypass attempt failed in records room. Outcome, system rebooted. Data stamp 2727.1. Lock malfunction and wet storage. Outcome, maintenance requested. Data stamp 2676.1, unexplained tissue matter in sleeping unit 4. Outcome, security dispatched. 
So if you remember uh, earlier reading that uh, one log, there was a parasite or something. Probably got spreading through uh, the shit to everyone. Got another log. Ship AI logging fragment 330.81 recovered. AI internal memory encrypted. Decrypting. Output follows. Probe report for navigator E. Eid. Uh, diligence high. Relative movement levels exceptional. Value of body parts very high. Conclusion. Backup test candidate. So it looks like they were putting probes. Probably, um... Just doing missions for uh, collecting, kind of like I sent my frigates out from my freighter. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, we're going down. This is primary crew quarters. At least they move slow. Anything back here? That'd be a negative. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. What do we got here? Captain's eyes only. Pre-flight crew appraisal. Name, help Gek Stowe. Specialism, AI oversight. Hyperspace sensitivity, 76%. Adaptability, 82%. Creativity, 5%. Company approval rating 42%, predicted remaining lifespan 39.1 years. Adenum. Captain's personal notes 1524.8, preaching, preaching odd messages to the rest of the crew must intervene, but without upsetting the, those converted. So it looks like uh, that new uh, crew member was trying to um, preach something to new people. Probably some type of religion or something. Maybe the Atlas. All right, we got another one. Research log entry follows. Ground, clue, ground crew collected quasi-biological structure while on mission. Performed solubility tests. Observation. Additional data required. If you look at the bottom of the screen, we still need to go to engineering, so I'm bet you that's on the other side of this door. Let's go check it out. Alright, we're going down even deeper. Yep, engineering. That's teleport. There's the engineering control where we're going. Ooh, what do we got here? Pretty nifty. Oh, 
Oops. Ship AIA log decrypted. Location track and report for Toilgek Peb Bavar. Water control. Personal bio scan last detected five days ago in error. 18 others present. Biometric readout indicates internal obstruction. No further life signs. Oh, we got another one. Captain's eyes only. Pre-flight crew appraisal. This is for Toilgek Nadar. He is cargo security, adaptability, respected for command, enthusiasm, company approval rating. He's got a high approval rating. Lifespan, 22.2 years. Interesting. What do we got back here? Nothing back here. Engineering control panel accessed. Generator failure detected. Fabricators on emergency power. Construct component. All right, this is going to be my... We want to do... This will increase the cargo capacity of my freighter. So let's do this. Deployable bulkhead extraction initiated. Cargo removal complete. Nano compression complete. Portable storage unit ready for collection. Excellent, we got it. All right, we have explored. So this is going to teleport us back to our ship. Whew. Take in the sights. I love what they've done with the lighting. And this update, just beautiful. All right, so we need to find a buyer for the salvage. So we will be able to... We won't worry about those guys. We will be able to find a buyer in the space station right up ahead here. Let's go up here. This will be the salvage guy. You can also buy um, coordinates from this guy to find uh, other uh, di uh, derelict freighters. Friend has information, yes? I can smell it. You wish to make a trade? Have many nanites. Absolutely. So we're going to sell the crew manifest to him. And he gives us 305 nanites. Not bad. So now the guild on boys over here, he, we can donate the captain's log to him. A pity, friend. All that cargo, all that value, lost to the stars. But from the recordings of the captain, something might be gained. You might donate, yes? Absolutely. And that will increase my standing with them. And I got a new title unlocked. Best friend. All right. Very, very cool. What if I have a C here, guys? All right. We did it. Increase my standing with the Gek as well. All right, guys. We are going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Very exciting new update. Um, I'm looking forward to what No Man's Sky has in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Take care.